The Immortal John Hancock here, and today I'd like to talk about what I would like Microsoft, Nintendo, and Sony to work on in 2019. Now, I love video games, I collect old games, I collect new games, I love video games, I have all the major consoles that are out on the market. I have a PlayStation 4 Pro, I have an Xbox One X, and I have a Nintendo Switch. And I, I use them pretty pretty evenly. So, you know, I do my Nintendo Switch, kind of my bite-sized gaming. I do some live streams with my PlayStation 4 Pro. And my kind of my day-to-day -day console that is in my other room is the Xbox One X. Now, I'm not here to say what's better or what's worse. Everybody has their preferences, but, you know, I've, I've been around a little bit, and there's some things that I would like them to work on in 2019. Now, there's pros and cons to each console. Uh, I'm not here to say which one's better, but you know, I, I there's some things that I think that could make these consoles even better. And I know Nintendo Switch is a hybrid, so I know they're. <laughs> All right, let's first start off with Microsoft. Microsoft is actually uh, with the Xbox, you know, the Xbox One. I think has the biggest need to do something about it. Now, I'm I'm a huge fan of, of the console. A lot of the teachers that I work with have one. And so I do a lot of my gaming on my Xbox One X, my day-to-day my -day gaming. You know, I play, I'm still playing Diablo 3, the Eternal Collections, what I just picked up. But I play with a buddy, and I, I do a lot of my gaming online with friends on the Xbox One X. And so, one thing that I think that they really need to work on is exclusives. Now, I know they've been talking about Crackdown forever. There's a new Halo coming, yeah, I and mean, there's, there's a new Gears, I think, rumored, but they need a lot more. They, need, they really need to advertise and get people excited about getting an Xbox One console. I know there's talks about having uh, a more streamlined box without the optical media. And we'll see how that turns out, but I really want them to kind of get back to the roots. You know, I know there's a lot of fans out there that grew up with the original Xbox. I would like them to continue to develop that, you know, because I think there's a lot of people that are excited, especially this last year when they announced that, you know, you could play original Xbox games on an Xbox One. And so I want them to continue to develop that. I know that they've taken a break until next year, and so... I, I want to see that. I want to see more games. I'm excited to see what they come up with. You know, I am excited about a new Halo, but you know, I just think they need more than that. You know, Crackdown 3, that, that's been dragging for a while. And I'm, I'm excited about playing it. You know, I'm definitely going to check it out, but I think they need more exclusives. I know that they uh, spent a bunch of money and got some game comp game uh, developers. And I know that I know that that's going to help them, but I really want them to continue to develop that, and and I hopefully they can come out with some new con new original content that'll be exclusive to the console. All right, next one, Nintendo. Okay, so I've been playing a lot of my Nintendo Switch, and I have to admit, uh, a lot of the great games that I'm playing on the console are ports. And I think that's their big thing that I think I want Nintendo to kind of break away from. I think they benefited a lot from getting ports from other things. You know, a good example, you know, Diablo 3. Um, you know, they've had a ton of ports from the Wii U. I think they need to tear, uh, you know, break away from that and start getting more original content that's specific and exclusive to the Nintendo Switch. Now, don't get me wrong. They have some awesome stuff. And, you know, it has that whole... You know that it's that hybrid console where you know it's portable too. I mostly play mine on a bigger screen. Um, I know that's not normal. A lot of Switch fans play it uh, undocked, and so uh, you know, for me, I want to see that original content. I'm really a huge Metroid fan, and so please, 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 you know, I'd love to see a Metroid this next year. That's what I personally would love to see. You know, I want. The, I think that type of game. It would, would be awesome on the Nintendo Switch. And I think, you know, there was rumors about Metroid Prime Trilogy uh, appearing on the Switch as well. And that brings up a good point. There's a lot of Nintendo Classic games and, and consoles that need to, be, need to be represented on the Switch. And so, you know, I know Nintendo's dabbled with, you know, uh, you know Nintendo, some, some Nintendo games, but they need to do a lot better job at offering a lot more content from their vast library that they have. There's a lot of people that grew up with GameCube, Nintendo 64, 
You know, and, and those those games have a lot of nostalgia connected to them. I think a lot of people want to play those types of games. And they need to offer those games on the Nintendo Switch. I think I think the virtual console or whatever's taking its place or something needs to be done. Now don't get me wrong. You know, you get awesome stuff like this that comes out on the console. You know, this is the Deluxe Collector's Edition of SNK, and it's I recommend this. This is awesome. But there needs to be more uh, Nintendo's history like that. You know, the Nintendo could take a good nod from this on how to do a collection right. You know, why why not offer a Nintendo Nintendo Classics on a Switch cartridge and offer that on the Nintendo Switch? Why don't they do something like that? Just it really infuriates me a little bit of just like why they're kind of dragging their feet on that. I don't know, but I really like to see that. I think it be they would benefit from it. Maybe they have in the works. Who knows? But uh, the other thing that they need to figure out is the, the, the whole chat app thing. You know, that that's a failure. I think that, that it's best if they admit to that and scrap that and, and move forward with some type of like chat service. I know there's some third-party games that don't require that on the Nintendo Switch. A good example is Fortnite. And so I'd really like Nintendo to look at that moving forward because I think I think they could benefit from it. But you know, that's just me. That's just these are just my things that I would like to see them work on. You know, this is not a bash Nintendo Switch session because I love my I love my console. I have had one for uh, in March it'll be two years and I like it a lot more than I thought. And I, I play on it quite a bit. And there's, you know, I was uh, buddy came over and we were playing Toki. We tried to beat it today on easy, and and it, it didn't work. Uh, we ran out of continues, but you know that's that's a console that uh, is a, a great and bite-sized gaming, and I, I really have been appreciating mine. Let's go to Sony. Sony PlayStation uh, just recently announced that uh, the PS4 has outsold the PS3. So props to them. They've done, they've done a lot of things right. And, and Sony, the PlayStation 4 kind of reminds me of previous consoles, you know. I would honestly say, you know, I, I have more memories of playing, you know, uh, some other consoles versus Sony in the past. But Sony has not messed up. They've been very consistent. They have exclusive games. You know, they had a huge banner year with tons of awesome games. You know, I just right off the top of my head, God of War and Spider-Man come to mind they really have delivered on some great gaming uh, they have a great multimedia system it, it delivers you know especially as a, as a youtuber you know live streaming I did a lot of live streaming on my ps4 this last year it was awesome and I have a PlayStation 4 Pro so I benefit from that I think for them just continuing to to deliver on all those things you know I think can, not forgetting about the ps4 and now the ps5 is going to be announced this year and so my big, my big thing I want Sony to work on is really handle that introduction of a new console. Now, you know, I think they messed up with the PS3 when they did that, but they did the PS4 right. And so, you know, getting the PS5 right when announcing it, I think is going to be really important. And, I, and they're not going to drop, you know, PS4. So they're going to still have some awesome content, but I think that has to be handled effectively. And so... I'd like to see more info about that. I like them to continue to deliver on exclusive content, which I think they're gonna. And you know, I'm excited about uh, the PS5, but I think they have to do that right. Like my first and foremost, you have to. I think, in my opinion, you at least have to have the marketplace shared on the PS5 the same as a PS4. And so, I think if they don't do that right, people are gonna get really upset. And so. That's my thoughts on that. You know, I you know this. I have a, a big wish list of things I'd like the companies to work on, and I think I think they are very aware of their shortcomings and things that they want to work on. You know, all three I think are having a pretty good year. So that's all I have. What are you looking forward to in 2019, and what do you want game companies to work on? Comment below. I'd love to hear from you as I march towards 80,000 subs. My channel is growing. I'm loving this growth, and I want to thank you for that. Thank you so much. You folks are wonderful and beautiful, and I look forward to doing many more videos weekly. This is the Immortal John Hancock. Thank you, and you take care.